Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Tom and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to get a DNA bomb in Advanced Warfare. Basically guys, you're going to be wanting to use a weapon which you are really comfortable using, so I am going to recommend that you guys do use the AK-12. And as you see there guys, I pick up a nice quad feed and um, I didn't even have to try and win a gunfight because I shot them all in the back, so it was a nice bunch of easy kills. You are going to want to try and shoot people in the back because if you do try and get into a head-on-head -head gunfight, just like I am right here, you can die very easily due to the connection drop in. Or, you know, your aim may go a little bit wild because you may be close to the DNA bomb and your adrenaline might be pumping. Anything can happen, so try and get all your kills in the back. But um, anyway guys, I'm going to recommend a gun. I'm going to recommend the AK-12. And um, Some of you guys may be thinking, can I use the barrel for this course? You can use the barrel guys, but um, in today's video it's going to be an AK-12 guide and what to use on the AK-12. So I'm going to recommend the stock just so that you have a little bit more mobility when you move in, just when you're aiming down sights. As you see there, I can move around pretty quickly. And then um, the second attachment I'm going to recommend is the suppressor, guys, so that you do stay off the radar, because your system hack is going to take around 10 to 12 kills to get, and then um, you basically don't want to be on the radar until then, because, you, you know, you might die one off a system hack due to being on the radar. And I know I don't use the suppressor very often, but the suppressor is a really good attachment, and I do recommend using it. And of course, for the third attachment, I'm going to recommend the dual mags just because you can reload a little bit quicker just because you don't need the extended mags in a 6v6 game mode due to the lack of enemies but then you're still going to want that fast reload guys you know it might it might help you out a lot the score streak setup which i'm going to recommend you guys is going to be the uav with the threat detection and the extra time it's going to take around 800 points to get so it is going to take quite a few kills to get guys but um, if you guys are going to be struggling getting the 800 points i would recommend putting the support on it which will bump it up to 11 but um, beware when you do put support on it guys even if you are on dna bomb kill streak you're going to need 22 kills to get a double uav so that's going to be quite a lot of kills that's why i don't run the support for them you definitely can use it it may help you out a lot and then for the second score streak setup which you guys are going to be wanting to use is the system hack you're going to be wanting to use it with disable exosuit that the enemies can't jump around and they can't strafe and all that good stuff and you're going to be wanting to use double extra time so the system hack will last around 40 seconds and that will definitely help you guys out a lot because they won't be able to call in kill streaks or and their vision would be very impaired so you've got more chance of winning the gunfights and as you see there guys this is a sweet thing look what i'm doing guys i'm shooting all the enemies in the back and that's what i want you guys to do i don't want you guys to jump in a gunfight like that see that gunfight there guys i could have lost that one more bullet i would have been dead so i would not recommend doing that guys always try and shoot the enemies in the back but um, i do hope you guys do go and get a dna bomb guys and then um, make sure when you're going for a dna bomb that you do stick to the edges of the map even if you're very close guys say you're on a 25 kill streak and the game got a minute and a half left don't sprint out in the middle of the open and ruin your chance of getting a DNA guys. Stick to the edges and um, trust me guys, you will get a DNA bomb. Keep trying and um, if you guys do want more tips, feel free to let me know because I really want to help you guys get better at the game. But um, the biggest tip I can say guys is use the system hack with the Sable Exosuits. Use a weapon you're comfortable using and stick to the edges of the map. But um, anyway guys, I'm going to be giving you guys more tip videos in the future. Thank you for all the support on my recent video guys, really do appreciate it. And uh, my game is going to crash here, as you see right now guys. But um, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a brilliant day.